I woke up like this, flawless. That's what Beyonce says. A new law makes California the first state to ban discrimination against black students and employees over their natural hairstyles. Governor Gavin Newsom signed the bill into law yesterday. It protects black people with styles like dreadlocks or cornrows. CBS This Morning Saturday co-host, that's Michelle Miller, is at Essence Festival in New Orleans, an annual expo celebrating black culture and music. Michelle, what's behind this new law? Well, Gail, good morning. Well, the Essence Festival, this festival we're talking about, is all about empowering black women, not just in mind and spirit, but in how they wear their hair, their crown. Let's face it, hair matters to everybody. But the authors of this new law say that women with kinky and curly hair are often discriminated against, viewed as inferior even. Dove recently uh, sponsored a survey that showed that black women were 80% more likely to change their natural hair to conform to social norms and expectations on the job. So there are a lot of folks who think this new law is long overdue. It had nothing to do with the job. I, I knew the job or you wouldn't have hired me. Um, it just had everything to do with my hair. Chastity Jones was tangled in a nearly 10-year legal battle after she says an employer took back a job offer at an Alabama call center because she refused to cut her hair. She said, are those uh, dreadlocks in your hair? And I just looked at her and I was like, these? And she said, yes. I said, yes, they are. She said, um, well, we can accept that here. In 2013, Jones sued the company for discrimination and lost wages, but her claim was dismissed. Last year, the NAACP filed a petition to bring her case to the Supreme Court. It declined to hear the case. She just didn't make me feel like I was wanted there, period. She's not alone. What's wrong with her hair? In August of 2018, Louisiana sixth grader Faith Finity was kicked off school grounds because her braided hair violated school policy. And a few months later, a wrestling official told New Jersey high school athlete Andrew Johnson he would have to cut his dreadlocks in order to compete. To make sure our beauty is welcome. Duck executive AC Eggleston Bracey spearheads the Crown Coalition, an alliance of corporate and community organizations whose goal is to highlight bias that pressures women to conform to Eurocentric standards of beauty. What happens is your natural hair is one way and you think you have to change that to go into a work environment because the view of what's professional is different than what your natural state is. And now lawmakers are stepping in. California State Senator Holly Mitchell introduced the first law to associate hair as an extension of one's race, which is legally protected. Terminated because of the way they choose to wear their hair. The way my hair grows out of my head as a black woman is a trait of race. Lawmakers in New York and New Jersey have now also introduced versions of the Crown Act. California Governor Gavin Newsom says he's proud to lead the nation by being the first to sign it. There's a human element to this. We don't want to diminish people. We don't want to demean people. We have to own up to the sins of the past. And I hope that folks are paying attention all across this country. And New York could be the second state to sign this bill into law. It's awaiting the governor's signature. And folks here at Essence, well, they're having a big celebration breakfast on Friday. The Crown Coalition is meeting to march this victory, hopefully, they say, into a national movement. Michelle, Tarika? thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Uh, definitely a topic I think I know you yes, probably I, have experience. I certainly do. It, listen, it's 2019. Yeah. I don't know too many little black girls. I grew up in Turkey and I can remember many times there was three little black girls in the class always being asked, can I touch your hair? You know, mm. just we all had the two braided pigtails or three braided mm -hmm. pigtails being asked, can I touch your hair? Because right. they'd never seen anything like it. That's why I like Crown, creating a respectful and open world for natural hair. Right. Yeah. I do you think this is a good idea too, Tony? I do, do think it's a good idea. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked that I Actually, there were people losing jobs and yes. getting kicked out of school and having yes. to cut and being up, being asked to cut their hair before they can compete in this day and age. It's just yes. surprising to me. I, it's, I guess it's it a way to be. express yourself. Yes. Uh, and like you said, I think there's sort of an ignorance about you know mm -hmm. your hair, 
uh, especially if you're African American. I remember being in school and people saying, "Why don't you wash your hair every day? Yeah, do yes. you use grease? Yes, what is that about?" Yes. So it is an open conversation yes. that needs to happen so people are more aware and sensitive to this. And they make certain assumptions based on your hairdo, which also many times are not valid. Correct. So this is good. Crown, creating a respectful and open world for natural hair. Did you nice see you done in California? You grew up in Turkey? We're going to yeah, have to talk about that some future yeah. date. All right. Yes, I did.